hi in this video I have these two remotes and they are not working very well anymore for example when I press the button it is not activating on the TV what I notice is I have to press the buttons quite firmly before they work and even if I demonstrate I'm actually pressing the button quite hard and you can see that that light is not coming on if I press it very hard there we can see the light coming on there I have to really press the buttons firmly in order for them to engage yeah the channel up and channel down button same problem now over time some moisture gets inside the remote and you might even see on this remote on the surface it looks like it's dirty and what has happened is because of humidity and moisture in the air it has actually settled on the top of the remote and you can see some dust has formed here some of that moisture has actually gotten inside the remote and has reduced the conductivity when I do the button presses so in this video I'm going to demonstrate how I solve this problem right so I'm going to work with this remote I'm going to open the back here now I remove the batteries and in this case I have one screw over here. Now ideally when opening a remote you should use plastic pry tools so you don't damage the side of the remote. On this particular remote I just need to unclip the sides. I'm going to use a screwdriver. Right now on this remote I'm going to take my screwdriver on the side here and just holding it quite close to the bottom I'm just going to insert it there and it's already popped open I hold it close to the bottom so that the screwdriver does not go deep into the unit so you can see that it is wanting to open and all I'm doing is I'm just lifting it along the seam here I do not want that to happen because I'll damage the circuit board that is why I hold the screwdriver just at the edge now the pry tools come in handy here it just holds that open while I go along here and unhook the side of the remote. I hold the screwdriver quite close to the end so that the screwdriver does not go deep inside the unit. Right so it is now opening up on the side here. What you can do is also slide your nail here. Right, so I'm just going to lift the circuit board up and there is some residue of moisture in here. It does look like someone may have spilled something. As you can see there is some residue. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a rubbing alcohol and 90% alcohol just to wipe the circuit board and then also the rubber pads. I'm not using a hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer has glycol in and that leaves a residue. This is just a 90% alcohol. And I just take a cloth and I gently wipe along the surface on the circuit board. Just be careful. In this case, there are surface mount LEDs, so I'm just wiping around them. Now, when it comes to the rubber side, I don't recommend using a cloth because it leaves lint and dust and fibers on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a toothbrush and just give it a bit of a clean. To dry this I use a blower. Right once it's clean I try not to touch any of the surfaces because fingers do have a bit of oil on the surface. Right just make sure the battery terminals have seated correctly. Right, so I'm going to press the TV button. You can see the TV light lights up there. And when I press the channel button, as you can see, I don't even have to press it that hard. Just from giving it a wipe down, removing that excess moisture, which was increasing the contact resistance. And there, as you can see, the button presses are now reliable. If in your case it's still not working, then you can use a pencil to put some carbon on the surface of the circuit board to increase the conductivity. If your remote still does not work you can actually take an HB or 2B or 3B pencil and just color in on these pads. By coloring it in with a pencil it adds carbon to the surface which increases the conductivity. When you're done close it and it should be working like new. Unfortunately using the pencil is not a long-term solution. It might improve it for a month or two or three but then you'll need to do the carbon again. All right thanks for watching and cheers.